Hello, my name is Andre O'Brien from Inocula Vision and Design, and this is the Talk Designer Assistant for Poser 8. Talk Designer Assistant for Poser 8 is a plugin which gives users the ability to make virtually any figure compatible with Poser's Talk Designer. Uh, results are limited to the number of morphs a character has dedicated to standard phonemes. In this instance, uh, the standard phonemes are represented or are used by or are defined as those that are defined by uh, Ryan's uh, character. Uh, after you have uh, Talk Designer System for Poser 8 installed, you're going to want to go to Scripts, then go to Inoculate Vision and Design, and then Talk Designer Assistant. And you'll see that all of the letters and uh, punctuation that Poser uses or the Talk Designer uses to uh, get your character speaking um, are represented here. And these blank spaces will be used to enter in the morphs that are associated with said letters and uh, punctuation. Um, select your character's head or just your character's figure and click the read morphs button and you'll see that uh, the interface is now full of the morphs that will allow uh, Ryan to uh, work with uh, Talk Designer. If we click the assist button and then go to the Talk Designer itself, we will see that the Ryan uh, Visit Me map is um, created, and now Ryan is uh, compatible with Talk Designer. Uh, of course, Ryan comes shipped with Talk Designer, but it was important for you to see that uh, the standard, uh, the standard uh, morph uh, collection is based off of Ryan's kind of character. We'll clear those morphs out, and if we hit uh, reset, we'll just reset back to Ryan. Um, but that's true for any character that you have. It'll always reset to char to Ryan's um, default uh, morphs, and this is so. Uh, this is to help you when you have another character, and I'll uh, show you what I mean later. Okay, so let's select another character. We'll select Ryan's body, make him invisible for now by Ryan, and we will select uh, Michael Three. Uh, Michael 3 is a cool character. I like him a lot and I have used him a lot in uh, some of my pro projects. Um, if we have, since we have him selected, let's read in his morphs. And we'll see that uh, the first thing you should notice is how many um, options or how many morphs have been filled in. Uh, Ryan's, I mean, I'm sorry, Michael 3 has a lot in common with Ryan and even the G2 characters from Poser. Um, Michael 3 being from Dash 3D, of course. Um, the, the one difference you'll see is the space in between mouth and the letter designation. Uh, Talk Designer will recognize uh, or looks for the mouth and it'll look for the letter combination or it'll look for tongue and L. Um, and it doesn't matter if there's a space in between it or not. Uh, uh, and I, I figured that uh, the standard uh, way that um, developers tend to make their phone names, or they use the mouth and they use the A. It's not always the case, but I figure instead of trying to accommodate every possible circumstance, I'd at least start from um, a ground rule when that's that Ryan figure. Um, we see that we have a few of the letters uh, missing, but Ryan has some uh, morphs that are similar to what we'd find with um, Ryan in these positions. Um, I've already gone through the liberty of picking uh, which morphs I think best represent uh, Ryan in those positions. So I'm going to enter those in now. Uh, I think E was Tom T. Uh, R was heart lips, if I'm not mistaken. And P was uh, mouth M. Capital part lips again, and W we used open lips too. Okay, once we have all of the morphs in place, we're going to hit the assist button, and when we go to the talk designer, we'll see that Ryan, uh, Michael Three's uh, Visit Me map uh, has been created, and now. Uh, I'm sorry, Mike, yeah, Michael 3 is now compatible with uh, the talk designer. Uh, it's pretty much that simple.
Now let's go to a character that has even fewer uh, morphs, uh, phonemes that are uh, dedicated to uh, speaking um, than Michael. As you'll see here, we have the Amada guy from Dash 3D. And he, as we will see, will clear this out and we will read in his morphs. There are a lot of blank space spaces for the uh, Mata guy. Um, and that's because a lot of his names, a lot of the morphs that are dedicated to speaking um, have other names. Um, I've gone through the liberty of choosing which ones I think best represent uh, letter or uh, punctuation. Um, if you ever get uh, a situation where you have uh, this few number of uh, similarities, you can always go to the help file and the help file will show you or give you a guideline uh, as to which letters tend to go together with which uh, shapes for certain phonemes. As you see the CD, this is a pretty long list. Uh, so that'll help you out a lot uh, when trying to figure out which more to go. Or you can always just import or uh, uh, in, uh, add uh, Ryan or um, or any of the G2 figures into a poser scene along with your character and you can go phoneme by phoneme to check out the shape of the face because uh, each face each um, phony will give a certain shape and they match up pretty well but they tend to have different names so what i'll do is in the interest of time i will pause this and i will enter in all the uh, values and i will restart it okay we're back and as you can see uh the new morphs that i've added uh, mouse speak uh, I think mouth th, um, purse lips, purse lips o o o, and purse lips o o, and grin. If I'm not mistaken, uh, I believe that these full names or these uh, morphs for the face best represent um, how uh, the Amada guy was meant to talk. After we press the assist button, we'll go to the talk designer, and we'll see that. The amount of guy has been added. Pretty cool. Now we will get to what I believe is probably the uh, one of the more difficult characters um, to get to talk, but he's also probably my favorite character um, that I'm just getting to know, and that is Michael Four. Okay, uh, now we're going to show you. Uh, how to use Talk Designer Assistant with uh, Michael Four from Daz 